guys. <clears throat> Another uh, little episode of Tool Time. Uh, this one on modifications. Um, thought I'd show just a couple of tools that uh, that I've modified uh, for usages uh, for myself. Um, the uh, first one uh, is uh, a pair of vice grips. Um, Jody at uh, tipsandtricks.com showed where he welded onto the uh, vice grips to make it a puller so that you could use a slide hammer. Use a slide hammer, he welded it onto the back of the vice grip and he, could, he made a, a puller out of it so you could slide, you could use it as, uh, as a puller with the slide hammer, duh. Um, this fella from, uh, I think he's down in Australia, Rob, and I don't know how to pronounce his channel. Um, he also did his own modification to the vice grip and what he ended up doing was um, actually machining a new uh, adjustment screw for it, for his setup, and actually made it part of the rod itself. And so he would have to unscrew this and then screw his rod in. Um, well, some time ago, if you notice, this one's painted orange on the end. I did that because I could look in my in my uh, drawer with where these are located and see that this one I had actually drilled and tapped the end of the vice grip. Um, that way I can actually lock it onto the piece that I need to work on and then the slide hammer just threads into the back of it and it becomes the, uh, the puller that I need. Um, it it's, it's, uh, doesn't damage the original vice grip and you still have the, the pulling action. So anyway, just a, a simple one to do. That's a 3816 that's, uh, that's uh, actually in the, uh, the back of the vice grip. Okay, so I thought I'd uh, share that with you guys. Um, another modification, <coughs> excuse me. Um, this is a pencil grinder from Harbor Freight. Um, she's on sale, I don't know, nine bucks, 19 bucks, inexpensive. Um, it's been a good little unit. I've used it a few times. And what I did base is make a holder that fits in the um, Aloris uh, tool holder. Um, just uh, drilled it for it, bored it, and then split it in a couple of uh, Allen heads to uh, tighten down onto the air grinder. Um, you saw it in one of uh, the, uh, I think it was Son of a Brooch, that video where I used it on the lathe to uh, dish out the end of the, uh, of the, of the brooch. Um, but anyway, that worked really well. Uh, I've seen these, the, the pencil grinders sell, you know, the 80, 100 bucks or something. Uh, so far the Harbor Freight one has worked out fine for me. It, it doesn't get that much abuse or, uh, so it works well. So I thought I'd show you that. Um, and then before I show you the last item that I modified, um, I had a couple items in here I just wanted to share with you. They're not modifications, so they're just some tools. Um, I uh, recently just picked this guy up. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, fits a 5C collet. I had never seen one before. It's uh, solid. Uh, it's, it's not hollow. And you can see it has a 60 degree center on it so uh, that you can go ahead and put it into your, into your collet system or on a tailstock um, or in a, in a uh, dividing head. So anyway, I'd never seen one. I paid, uh, I think, five bucks for it. So it was a, that was a good buy to, to pick up. Um, another item uh, of tooling interest, um, I don't know if you've seen these before or not, but they're scribers. Uh, there's two of them, and they're, they're dimensioned on the side. Um, I think these are primarily used in the sheet metal trade or metal trade because you can, you can set, you know, two different heights um, and you could scribe on one side and then you can flip and you can scribe on the other and have and the tools multi-purpose that way. Um, I forget where I picked this up, but it was uh, relatively inexpensive. It's, a, it's, a, it's been a useful little tool. Um, so I thought I'd show you that. And then... Uh, one other item I have in here um, is uh, a little mini pallet system. <clears throat> I didn't build these. 
Um, and I should explain that I got these from my uh, toolmaker mentor. A um, little side story, you never know what you'll find on Craigslist. Um, uh, answered an ad to, that was uh, a fellow selling tooling and uh, went over and, and met with him and I did buy some tooling that day and I, don't, I think I probably bought these this, that day also. And these, these fit in a 5C call, an inch and a sixteenth. Um, so you can put them in the lathe and you got a little mini pallet system. Uh, they also, could, of course, could be mounted on parallels in the vise. And th they've been drilled and tapped. Uh, well, as I talked to uh, this fella, um, it, uh, his name is uh, Jess Rios, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Chewy is, uh, is his nickname. Um, he, uh, as we discussed uh, items, uh, he said, you know, I'm selling everything, just go through the toolbox. Well, he went in the house for a few minutes, I started going through his toolbox, and and uh, I started going, well, geez, I got that, and I got that, and I got that. And, well, I, geez, I have this, and I don't even know how to use it. So he came back out, and uh, we were talking. I, I really forget exactly what we were talking about. But it went into about a 40-minute discussion uh, on, on the tools. He educated me. And, and he, he turned and looked at me, and he said, you know, uh, all the years in the trade, nobody ever wanted to learn like you want to learn. And it's really refreshing, and, and it's enjoyable. Well, that meeting that day on Craigslist, um, we became friends. Um, we uh, we play pool together, golf, um, and he comes over and chews chews my ass. And there, that might be uh, that might be Adam screwing with me there, shutting my power off. Um, anyway, uh, talked about he comes over and, and he uh, teaches me. A ton. There's nothing like having a master craftsman, toolmaker, uh, working at the machine or standing there and and handing out instructions and teaching. Well, I mentioned about getting my ass chewed. Well, I got my ass chewed because he watched uh, one of my previous videos um, that I had shown the the uh, stop that was cut in half, and he had seen it. As I mentioned, he'd been on vacation for a couple of months. Well, he's seen it when he got back, and he says, what the hell? He goes, you don't even give me a call out for something I did, and I showed you, and I sold you? And so um, this is my call out to uh, Chewy. Um, these are units that I bought from him, and uh, I'm fortunate that uh, he's my friend and my mentor. Um, so I just wanted to share that little story with you guys, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have him here someday on film. Uh, we'll be doing lots of projects together here. We've got different things to, that we both want to work on. Um, the last item of modification, um, I'm going to pull the camera off. Here. Let's see, last time I pulled the camera off, it flipped all over the place. But I'm going to pull the camera off and show you. So hopefully it'll stay. Um, this guy right here, and I just set it up in the vise, which is off the mill, of course. It, as you can see, it's on the bench. But it's a rigid pipe vise. Um, and what I did, I, I, I picked this up for 15 bucks or something like that. Um, and I thought it would work out handy in situations where I actually had to hold a large round um, in the mill or in the drill press. Um, and I, the, I attached it to a piece of plate. And then the plate is drilled so that it fits the T-slot holes on the drill press or on the, on the, uh, on the mill. And... Uh, I've used it a couple times, um, and it can be also set up for, for welding on the welding table. Um, so, it, and it's, you know, basically it's got a, just a simple chain lock system here um, where you can pull it out. And uh, it's got support uh, across there. Um, and it's a, what is it, it's a rigid... Uh, Rigid 410 is the uh, actual product. Okay. Well, anywho, that's the end of uh, modifications tonight. That was the last modification of taking a tool and kind of repurposing it for, for my own uh, usage. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks.